Hello basketball fans, welcome to High School Hoops Weekly. This is Rachel George, joined by sports editor Dan Spears. We are out at UNCW's Trask Coliseum. The site of this year's uh, Leon Brogdon Holiday Tournament has moved from actually Brogdon Hall to here this year. Uh, got an exciting field. We're going to go ahead and look at our area teams in, in that uh, tournament coming up. Uh, Ashley will be playing a local team, Pender. Uh, the Patriots get in for the first time. Um, and the Screaming Eagles really, I think, having high expectations this year. Uh, second year for Coach Bryn McSwain. Uh, a lot of kids coming back, guys like Travis Keyes, Micah Allen, Reed Clark. Uh, I know last year toward the end of the year they started to play well and we're, we're in a lot of games that they hadn't been in before. Uh, so definitely high expectations, but a good Pender team they're going to face. Yeah, I mean, Pender, you know, mm-hmm. lost in the East Regional Final last year, uh, brings back that entire front court, which was yes. really, really good last year and really hauled them down the stretch. The key is, will they be able to replace the backcourt? Rennie Harvey, Corey Branch are both gone now. Mm-hmm. Um, if they can find the guards to get their big guys the ball, um, they're going to be really good again. And that's going to be a fun matchup because Ashley has big, strong guys inside, mm-hmm. too. Uh, it's probably the two best front courts in the area, right. and they get to play in the first game. So, uh, good way to start off the tournament this year in a new venue, and uh, I think this is a good move for them too to come to a little bit bigger place yep. and uh, a little more accessible for everybody too. Yep, and you might obviously add Addison Sproul back, um, maybe the biggest recruit in this tournament. Pender has Keenan Pittman uh, as a six-eight. He'll be a junior this year. Um, if he can develop and, and you know get a little bit more time, we'll see hopefully good things from this him this season. Um, in the second game of the first round. Laney will be playing North Mecklenburg. Um, the Bucks really uh, struggling so far out of the gate this year. Have lost to Pender twice. Only have a couple wins. I think they're trying to figure out how do you replace someone like Antoine Bozier. <laughs> they're, they're, they're having to replace a lot. I mean, yeah. they've just they, they've had such good go-to players over the yeah. last several years, and they just don't have that guy yet. They're trying to find mm-hmm. who that person is. Um, they'll get it figured out. They you know yeah. they they are always respectable. They aren't gonna you know have a really struggle year, but mm-hmm. uh, the beginning might be a little hard for him, but they'll, yep. they'll figure it out. Yeah. Yep. And then the third game, uh, New Hanover is actually playing an out-of-state team, um, Annapolis Area Christian School from Maryland. Uh, that's my old stomping ground. So I know that yep. that's uh, they play in uh, the, uh, the private school league up in Maryland, which is always tough and has a lot of nice teams. Uh, Hanover, you know, it's 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 Detwan Rogers and Cole Daly, and then fill in the pieces around them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lost uh, they lost a couple guys from last year, Jaquiel. Uh, they also lost um, Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Jones, Jermaine, Jermaine yeah. Jones, and those were their big guys last year, along with each one. Now, can they fill in around these guys? Um, mm-hmm. But again, it's, it's New Hanover. They're going to have a lot of athletes, and uh, Kirk yeah. Angels. He's going to let them run, so we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. That's right. And rounding out the first day schedule, Hoggard will be playing Westover at 7. The Vikings graduate nine kids from last year's team, return just one starter, uh, point guard Stillman White, who, to his benefit, got some tutelage under Zach Allen, who was a four-year point guard for them and graduated. He has really been one of the players stepped up this year. The surprise for me has been Lawson Aarons, who was a backup last year, and I know he was a sharpshooter and he can knock down some shots, but he's had double digits in every single one of their games. And, and those two juniors are really leading the way, um, you know, four returners overall. So <laughs> they've, they've got some growing to do, but it seems like so far they're doing, you know, pretty well in the early season. For the first time in a long time, Hunger doesn't have a big senior class. That's it's right. the first time we haven't said that <laughs> in quite a while. Yeah. Um, they've always been used to reloading, and I think they're having to reconfigure right yeah. now. But um, like I said, they still have guys that can play. It's That's just right. finding the ones that are going to want to step up. None of them had to do that yet. Now, Now's their chance. Yep. So. And we'll see once we get in, you know, they, I know they've played some good teams. They always play some Raleigh teams. Uh, they're in shootout by the sea uh, the week leading up to Christmas. So we'll see how they do coming into this tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, we will have highlights from here um, as we see how our, our area teams do in the Brogdon, if, if they can win it or if it's going to uh, continue to go to, the, to these out-of-town teams. Uh, until next week, though, this has been High School Hoops Weekly with Rachel George and Dan Spears on StarNewsOnline.com.